welcome back to Max Programming and in this video we are going to learn about inline and block elements which stand for inline and inline level and block level elements so the very first thing is we will take an example so for example let's say h1 it's a tag it's an element here you say element or tag it's the same thing so we say h1 and then if i say heading and if i just copy this whole line and then just paste it down here okay so the these are the two h1s okay so if i save it and if we see it in the browser we can see we get heading and heading both of them but on a different line so that's uh, a block level element okay so h1 is a block level element basically a block level element is an element which uh, just creates a new line okay so after that we have a new line or it will be on a new line so if we say this is a block level element so let's take an example of inline element now what are inline elements inline elements are elements which are in line okay so for example the first inline and the second inline element both of them will not be on a different line like like these h1s they will they will they will be in you know in the same line so if i take an example let's say input the very common example so if you create an input tag with a type of text or whatever type okay and if you create that same tag down here <coughs> and if i save this you're gonna see they will be on the very same line okay so they will not be in a on a different line that's the power of inline and block level elements okay <coughs> so because of these two input tags they are inline level elements now i have uh, image and image for block level and inline level elements so this is these are the block level elements okay if you can see them properly like this we have the address element we have dl now you can see h1 to h6 these are these these are the heading tags okay so these are also the block level elements then we have ol ordered list video p tag which is the paragraph tag then we have the header tag header tag resides in the html file so we are focusing on that right now so we have hr p uh, field set aside and many more okay so they are the block level elements and li also okay so we have li also list item that you have seen which creates a new line okay which uh, which comes on a new line so we have these block level elements now i'll share this image don't worry now we have the inline level elements so these are the inline level elements so we have a a tag anchor button input samp sup then address and all of them are the in line level elements okay so they don't be on a new line so for example i showed you this input now if i create a button tag which will create a button so i can say btn1 uh, okay btn1 and then if i just paste this uh, down here and then say btn2 and if i save this you're gonna see both of them will be side by side okay so both of these buttons are side by side let me zoom in so you can see so that's the power so sometimes you need these tags okay sometimes you need the inline and block level tags now for example if you want a block level tag which does not have any specific meaning okay so in that case what we will do so we have kind of uh, okay so we have body tag okay body is a block level tag and this tag has a meaning that it represents the content of the document okay of the whole document now there is one block level tag which does not have a specific meaning which is div tag okay so which is div tag let me create the div tag like this so this is the div tag which does not have a specific meaning so if you hover over it you get 
uh, the whole definition we're not going to read it read it so div is a block level tag which does not have any specific meaning so it just it's just a block level tag. So for example if i type in anything if i create a link in here let's say a tag okay so hash means it, it will be over here so i can say link one okay then i'm gonna cre create one more link but in a different div tag so i have two div tags okay and in that two div tags i have my two links so when i save it you'll see both of them will be on a different line but if i remove these div tags let me just remove them if i remove them and if i save them you're gonna see both of them will be on the same line so <clears throat> If you create just a div tag and you enter anything like uh, um, anything, okay, so any random text, and then you create another div tag with the same text or any other text, then it will be separated on a different line. So it will be on a different line, okay, as you can see. But uh, that's the work of the div tag now we have one more tag which does not have any specific meaning and it's an inline level tag we have seen the block level element which is div which does not have any special meaning so div is like a container for something that you want to store for example if you want to create a navigation bar that we see in in many websites so you can contain that in a div tag so to separate things on on different lines a div tag is used and note that div is the most used element in an html document okay now we have one more tag which does not have any specific meaning and it's an inline tag which is span okay so you know span tag will just be uh like a p tag okay like a p like a paragraph tag but it will not create a new line okay so if we create a p tag and we say p1 and if we create another p tag and we say p2 okay so what this will do is this will be on on two different lines okay if what if you don't want that what if you want uh, something like uh, to select a specific thing okay a specific character or anything like that so we place that in the span tag so if i say span one span one and if i just copy this and paste it down there and if i say span two and save it you're gonna see that both of the spans will be on the same line okay so you can see span one and span two on the same line but p1 and p2 are on different lines now we have this on a different line just because uh, p2 is creating a new line okay so if i remove these two you're gonna see we have both of the spans on the you know side by side so they are the inline level elements so we uh, use span uh, not uh, we don't use span a lot of times but we use div as the most used tag in whole html okay so that's it for inline block elements and don't worry i will be sharing you these images with you okay you can go into the description and you can check out these images you can download them in your system so you can refer these images and that's it bye